Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Stephen. But come on, my wee pickles. Let's dive into Granny Murray's dressing up box and see what we can see. <gasps> What's there, Rachel? <gasps> These are Granny Murray's old dressing up clothes. You would suit that. <laughs> that could be a dress for you, couldn't it? Oh, and my old pink coat. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Rudy and Jack. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Come on, my dad. We'll be having a right laugh in here today, Rudy. Dressing up and playing with my old clothes. Oh, sounds like a right hoot. Oh, it has. But listen, now you're here, Jack, why don't we dress Claude up in my old clothes? Oh, and I tell you what, Granny Murray, why don't we go and rest our old legs on your comfy seat, eh? Less of the old you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you know, Granny Murray, all these old clothes reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to get all my big brother's hand-me-downs. Oh, so you know what it's like to wear other people's cast-offs? I do, but I didn't really mind. And Jack, he hasn't got any big brothers or sisters, so whenever he needs something, he gets it brand new. Oh, that can be an expensive business. Oh, <laughs> dead right. And I'll tell you what he needs in a minute. A new windjammer. A new what? A windjammer, you know, like an anorak. Oh! A cagoule. Yeah, just something to keep out the wind and the chills. Well, I tell you what, why don't I take Jack to Nicholson's department store and buy him a new jacket today? Oh, that'd be great. But, oh, you'll need some money and I haven't got any on me at the minute, so maybe I could meet you later. Brilliant idea. <laughs> I'll meet you at two o'clock outside Nicholson's. It's a deal. Well, you look at the time now. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, speaking of wearing my brother's clothes, I once had a school blazer that was so big it came down to my knees. <laughs> oh, Rudy. <laughs> oh, and if you think that's funny, Granny Murray, you should have seen me in this old PE kit. Listen, you'd better keep oh. an eye on your time. You're going to be late for work. <laughs> oh, I love a chatter, Granny Murray. <laughs> Yes, maybe, but sometimes less chatter gets things done. <laughs> yep, suppose you're right. I'd best get to work and start selling some fruit and veg if I want to buy Jack that windjammer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, what does Claude look like? A walking jumble seal. Dad? Yes. I've got a pair of them for you. Oh, pair of gloves. Very smart. Oh, they're my old ones, darling. <laughs> Look at these holes. I don't think I've got enough fingers to fill all these holes. <laughs> I'll put them in my bag anyway. Take them with me. Right, you want to give us a cuddle, Jack? <laughs> ah, little oh, rascal. Oh, <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Come on, you. <laughs> See you later. Come on. Woo! Now remember, less chatter gets things done. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know But can you tell me the way I go? OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go up now? 
or do I go down? Which way's a smile now, and which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. There's the gloves that Jack gave to me. Good morning, Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. How are you doing, mate? What have we got there? Oh, a pair of Granny Murray's old gloves. £2.50 a kilo. Do you want a bunch? <laughs> <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Can I have a bunch of bananas instead? Hey, when I took Jack round to Granny Murray's this morning, all the children were dressing up in Granny Murray's old clothes. Oh, crumbs. I hope he likes dressing up in his new windjammer. He's going shopping for one this afternoon. Yeah. Can I have my bunch of bananas, please? He loves dressing up as a pirate. <laughs> oh, what a laugh. Arr, Jim lad. <laughs> bananas? Oh, Mickey John. Bananas, bananas. Oh. Here come the bananas. Sailing across the seven seas. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> That'll be a pound, please, Mickey John. OK. <laughs> At last. Huh? Oh, sorry, Mickey John. Did I slip up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. See you later, Mickey John. Come on, folks, get your salad here. The best dressed salad in all of River Sea Fingle. Oh, seems a little quiet today. <laughs> Hope Jack's having as much of a laugh as I am. I love to skip in River Sea Fingle, River Sea Fingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Fingle, River Sea Fingle, that's for me. I like fire engines because they put out fires and, um, I am afraid of fires. Well, you don't need to be afraid of fires when we've got fire money and you're always careful. We have fire alarms. Hey, look, I got it. I could have. Have we got any more for it? <laughs> oh, how about this? Oh, Jack, you're a wee chatterbox, just like your old dad. Are you having fun, Daddy? <laughs> Hey, Bobs. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, just dashing around the shops. <laughs> dash, dash. Hey, how's Kai? Oh, he's fine. Listen, I'll come back later for a chat, OK? Oh, Jack, he's hilarious these days. Is he? <laughs> I wonder where he gets that from, eh? Ooh, not from me, Bobby. Seen and not heard. That's me. <laughs> Listen, I must dash, OK? Oh, Jack, he's got this guitar thingy at the minute. I mean, it's not a real guitar, Bobby. I mean, it plays a song when you turn the knob. It's pretty crazy, but he sings along. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, what's that song he's got now? Haven't you got any work you should be getting on with? Oh, well, not while you're yakety yakking away all day. <laughs> hey, does Kai collect stickers? Listen, I'll come back and have a chat later, OK? Okie dokie, Bobs. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, now that's Bobby out of the way, i better get down to some hard work. <laughs> and doobie doobie doo. I make it look easy What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hello, Louis. 
Hope you've been working hard. Early days. Hey, did you hear the one about the parrot who thought he was a dog? <laughs> Look, I really don't have much time, and Bill will be here any moment. Oh, Bill the potato merchant. Watch your Bill. Oh, I am out. How much is it, Bill? Rudy, money. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we've both been busy, haven't we, love? Is this all you've got, Rudy? Yeah, love. Hey, Bill, my Louie's been a rocking and a rolling, <laughs> haven't you, love? Just enough. Oh, greatest trumpet player I've ever had, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> See you, mate. Bye, Bill. <laughs> Go. He's a chatterbox, isn't he, that no, Bill? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you off? Fred, so. Oh, and you better get down to some hard work and earn Jack his supper. See you, love. Oh, wonder how Jack's getting on today. I love to skip in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. Oh. Don't worry, my darling, we're a wee bit early. Daddy will be here to buy you a new one jammer any minute. Oh, Granny Murray! Hello, Bobby! Oh, hi, Jack! Uh, are you waiting for someone? Yes, we're waiting for Rudy. He'll be here any minute. Well, I'm just popping along to the market. I'll hurry him along if I see him there. Oh, thanks, Bobs. No problems. See you later. See you later. Bye, Bye. Bobby. You see, Jack? Bobby's going to hurry your dad along. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> Are you selling lots of things, Daddy? He's a great lad, is our Jack, Dr. Juno. You, know? you know, when he was born in the hospital, the nurses said they'd never seen such a beautiful baby. I'm sure. Oh, he loves dogs, loves your Samson. Look, I better get going, Rudy. Oh, no, 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 Doc, I'm telling you, he loves dogs. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Oh, hi, Bobby. Just tell the Doc here about our Jack. Bye, Rudy. See you, Bobby. Oh, bye. What? I think Dr. Juno was in a bit of a rush. She certainly knows how to chatter, does Dr. Juno? Uh, no. You know how to talk, you chatterbox. Chatterbox? Yeah. Granny Murray and Jack are waiting for you. They're outside Nicholson's store. <gasps> of course. I was meant to meet them at two o'clock to buy Jack a new windjammer. OK, Bobby, let's go. Oh, but wait. I haven't got any money to buy Jack a windjammer. What went wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I took Jack to see Granny Murray. The children were all dressed up in Granny Murray's old clothes. I told Granny Murray that Jack's old windjammer was getting a bit too old and that he needed a new one to keep out the wind and rain. Granny Murray offered to take Jack to Nicholson's department store and I arranged to meet them with the money for the new jacket later. At nine o'clock, I started work. Mickey John came to say hello and we had a good old chat and a laugh. At 10 o'clock, Bobby popped by and we had a good old natter and I told her all about Jack. At 1 o'clock, Louie came to help me pay Bill for my market store potatoes. We had a good chat, but I only had just enough money to pay Bill. At 2 o'clock, I was chatting to Dr. Juno when Bobby arrived. She told me that Granny Murray and Jack were waiting for me to buy Jack a new windjammer at Nicholson's, but I had no money to pay for it. Now remember, less chatter gets things done. Less chatter gets things done. Of course, Granny Murray was right. I've spent far too much time today chatting and not enough time working to earn money. Give us a hand, Bobs. No problem. I need to earn enough money to buy Jackie's windjammer. It's, it's a, a race, race against, against time. time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he has what he should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Oh wow, we've sold a lot of fruit and veg in double quick time, Bobby And now I've got enough money to buy Jackie's new jacket I couldn't have done it without your help Oh, I think you could, Rudy You're great at your job And I don't think you should stop now either You're on a bit of a roll Oh, but what about Jack's new windjammer? Oh, don't worry, I'll take the money over to Granny Murray Oh, thanks, Bobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> oh, uh, Bye. See you later, Bobs. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what kind of windjammer Jack will buy. Here 
Here we are. <laughs> That'll keep out the wind and the rain. And I'll make your dad really pleased. That's right. Come on, it'll be better, hurry. He'll be home to pick you up soon. Where are you, Daddy? Come away in. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah. We certainly did. Go on. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. Less chatter gets things done. It saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all my old clothes because we were having a great time this morning dressing up in old clothes that I don't wear anymore. Rudy told me that Jack needed a new windjammer to keep out the wind and rain. We arranged to meet outside Jack's favourite shop later on. Rudy went to work and Jack spent the morning playing with his favourite toys. We had a good old chat about them. Later on, Jack and I were waiting for Rudy when Bobby came along. Bobby said she'd head over to the market to see if Rudy was still there. Bobby came back with the money for Jack's windjammer. She told us that Rudy was too busy working to come shopping. Rudy remembered what I told him. Less chatter gets things done. And he was working so hard that he could pay for Jack's new windjammer. Shopping for new clothes is fun. But it's even more fun rummaging through my old ones. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> Come on, Pickles, don't just sit there. Let's find something new to do. Uh. You pop that one on the... That's <laughs> Right, come on then, my hearties. I've got an idea. Why don't we make a pirate ship? Ah. We've got Hope. And we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Ah, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Ah. It's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. Mickey John. <laughs> Hello. Oh, and Rebecca, come away through my honey pies and see who's here. Come on in, Rebecca, and join in the pirate ship. <laughs> there we are. Oh, why don't you all dress Claude up as a pirate? Good idea, shipmates. Oh, sounds like a saucy thing to do. Ah, we'll see salt. Let's roll on down to the forecastle. <laughs> <laughs> there she blows. <laughs> oh, oh dear, we'll see salt. What was that? Oh, it was my tummy. I forgot to have my breakfast this morning because I was so busy planning today's lessons. I'm going to teach my class about shapes. Oh, shapes. I expect the children and I will see a lot of different shapes today. I'm taking them to the river to see the sailing ship. Oh, you'll have a brilliant time playing at pirates. I would love to have been a pirate, Clanny Murray. It must have been so exciting. Searching desert islands for buried treasure. Four paces to the north, three paces to the west, two paces to the south, and X marks the spot. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, there goes my tummy again. <laughs> Oh, poor darling. You can't go to work without a good square meal inside you. Here, hold on. You take this bread and cheese and make up some sandwiches when you get to work. Thanks, Granny Murray. <laughs> At least it'll stop your tummy from rumbling, eh? <laughs> Here, do you think we'll find some pirate treasure today? Maybe, me old shipmate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my <me> eyes peeled. <laughs> oh, 
Look at Claude. He's dressed and ready to set sail. <laughs> oh, well done, me hearties. <laughs> you look great, Claude. I like your pirate neckerchief. Hey, great. My very own pirate scarf. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> well, I better be getting off to school. Enjoy your day out at the sailing ship, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Now remember, you can't work without a good square meal inside you. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Yeah, we'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock now. Splashing, splashing to our stop. In, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, hurry, hurry. Put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. I've got some time before the children finish assembly. These books are amazing, all about pirates and sailing ships. <sighs> Look at all those sails. <sighs> ah, Jim lad, weigh the anchor. On your way, boys, we're going to find treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. You OK, Mickey John? Sounded like someone was in trouble. No trouble at all, Louis, until we see pirates on the horizon. Uh, well, we'll let you know if we see any, won't we, Chuck? <laughs> Thank you, Jim lad. Ha <laughs> ha. We're doing some music with one of the classes today. So we wondered what type of music should we play? Any ideas? Shanties. Shanties? Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the band down. Hey, that sounds good, Chuck. Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the man down. Way, hey, and up she rises. 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 Hey, 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 hey cool idea, Chuck. We can play sea shanties to the kids later on. Let's go. What shall we do with the sleepy sailor? What shall we do with the sleepy sailor? What shall we do? Oh, where's Louie and Chuck gone? Oh, well. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if I could make a model pirate ship as a treat for my class. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's Rebecca's pirate scarf. Hmm. I wonder if Rebecca's on her way to see the sailing ship yet. I love to skip in river seeping, the river seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in river seeping, the river seeping, go that's for me. Oh, my southwest, Bolson! <laughs> Are we looking for pirate treasure? Yeah! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I bet your dad wishes he could set sail with us too. <laughs> My class will love it if I manage to make a model pirate ship like the one Rebecca's off to see. OK, sit down, everyone. This should come in handy. And this could be the mast. And these old hankies can make great sails. <clears throat> yes? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I got a bit carried away. Right, we're going to be thinking about shapes today. Now, pay attention. You too. It's time to get down to some proper work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. 
teach him to count and teach him to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Oh, these are all great. Look, there's a brilliant triangle and a fantastic square. Excellent. Right, now, before you all head off for lunch, can anyone tell me what this is? Yes. Yes, a sailing ship. The wind blew the sails and pushed the ships along, and sailors used to sail all round the world in sailing ships, and sometimes even pirates. Ha ha, Jim lad, pieces of eight. X marks the spot. Ha ha ha. Oh, there goes the dinner bell. Right, we'll carry on with this later, me hearties. Off you go. Right, how am I going to make this pirate ship? Hey, dude, thanks for giving us the idea to sing sea shanties with the kids. They thought it was really cool. <laughs> we had everyone singing and rolling and rocking. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be of help. Maybe it's our turn to help you. What are you making? I'm making a pirate ship for my class. And if you want to help, that would be great. <laughs> right. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. All way in the morning. <laughs> oh, thanks for your help, guys. No worries, Mickey John. Stay cool. Bye. The class will be back here any minute. Time for a quick nap. <sighs> I wonder how my little pirate's getting on. Oh, you're grub me hearty. <laughs> now, I think it'd be about time to see round this here pirate ship. Come on then, follow me. <gasps> Who wants to man the pumps? Me. Oh, me too. Right, on you go then, Rebecca. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's have a wee look at where the sailors slept. <gasps> First. Me! Come on, Angel! <sighs> Ready and big loud ring! And all's well! <laughs> oh, get us! Oh, this is to steer the ship! It's a lot bigger than the steering wheel in Tina's taxi, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I bet your dad would love to have a look round this ship, eh? <laughs> what are you doing now, Daddy? All back. Wonderful. Um, did you have a good lunch? Yeah. Good, good. So, oh, sorry about my tummy. Um, anyway, have a look at this model ship I've made for you all. <laughs> my tummy again. What was I saying? Oh, yes. I've used lots of different shapes to make my model ship, and we're going to be talking about shapes more this afternoon. Oh, there we go again. This is awful. I haven't had my lunch. My tummy keeps rumbling and I have to teach the class about shapes. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. She helped dress up Claude as a pirate. Granny Murray said she was taking the children to see an old sailing ship today. And I got very excited telling her about pirates. But then my tummy kept rumbling really loudly because I'd forgotten to have any breakfast. 
so she gave me some bread to make sandwiches. At nine o'clock I was in school and I looked through lots of books about pirates and sailing ships. Then I had the idea of making a model pirate ship as a treat for my class. At twelve o'clock the bell rang and the children went off for their lunch. The ferry boat band helped me make the model ship with different shapes and we sang a great sea shanty. At one o'clock I was tired so I had a nap. Then suddenly I woke up and lunchtime was over. My class were all waiting for me to tell them about shapes. But I'd forgotten to have any lunch and my tummy started rumbling again really loudly. Now remember, you can't work without a good square meal inside you. I've got a good square meal in my bag. <sighs> Granny Murray sliced square bread. And if I cut my sandwiches into different shapes, I can eat and teach. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Listen, everyone. Can you hear anything? No. That's because my tummy stopped rumbling. Fantastic. And your coloured shapes are fantastic too. Now, I reckon it's about time we sailed away on our ship of shapes. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Ha-ha. <laughs> I hope Rebecca's having a rocking good time too. Oh, it's good to be back on dry land. But it's a pity we didn't find any pirate treasure. Mary, Mary. Oh, look! Well done, real pirate treasure. <laughs> What'll your dad see when he finds out about this, eh? <laughs> Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, my girl. Oh, clever girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying you can't work without a square meal inside you. Save the day. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Hey, Joe. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pirate because we were planning to visit an old sailing ship on the River Fingal. Mickey John said he was going to teach his class about shapes. I took my band of pirates through the city to see the old sailing ship. When we got on board, we had a delicious pirate picnic. Then we set off to explore everywhere in the old sailing ship. It was amazing. Mickey John got very excited when he heard about our trip. But his tummy kept rumbling because he'd forgotten to have any breakfast. He's right. Shh, Pirate Polly. <laughs> that was my tummy rumbling. Do you think perhaps I need my tea? Me too. Bye bye, honey pies. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, my wee building bricks. Come on. Got some Granny Murray shells today. Look at these. OK, I'll play a sound and you have to try and guess what thing in these cars makes the sound. Ready? It does. Yay! Well done. OK, we'll turn it 
turn that one over, will we? That's the train! Yes! Well Woo! done! Woohoo! So good boys! Yay! Do you think it's that one, Sean? Yeah. Clever boys! Well done! Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Raven with Lisa. Hello there. Raven. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we do honey pies and see everyone. That's my new mobile phone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, love. It's Tina. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm just dropping off Lisa at Granny Murray's just now. What's that? Oh, sardine curry sounds lovely for tea. Yes. <laughs> OK, love you. Uh, me too. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. <gasps> Let's dress Claude up as a mobile phone. Oh, that's you, darling. I must show you my new mobile phone. It can do loads of things. <laughs> Right, take a look at this. Oh, it's Lisa and Tina. Oh, <laughs> that's gorgeous. Is it in case you forget what they look like? No. <laughs> it's just one of the amazing things my new mobile can do. With this, I can ring up Tina anytime and find out where she is. And she can ring me up and find out where I am. Or I can listen to music, it's got a radio. Or I can use it as an alarm clock. Or I can use it as a diary. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to you, you'd think it was the greatest invention since sliced bread. <laughs> but if you ask me, a mobile phone can't do everything. Well, not yet anyway. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll write down my number and then Lisa can give me a call any time she feels like it. Good idea, sugar plum. Yes, we're going to the city farm later on, so Lisa would love to phone and tell you all about it. There you go, oh. call me any time. Oh, lovely. Oh, looks like Claude's ringing. <laughs> oh, Claude. I'll always be able to keep in touch with you dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Claude, you make a great mobile. A bit big to slip in your pocket, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Daddy. Ooh, thanks, Lisa. Ooh, a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> well, I'll look at that and think of you at the farm. Bye, Lise. <laughs> right. Come on. I must get to work. <laughs> now, remember, a mobile phone can't do everything. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left, to the station. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, taxi. Hello, tank. Hello, trolley. Hello, plank. Hello, lorry. Hello, bank. I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now what? Oh yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> oh, nine o'clock. We should be off. Oh, <laughs> bang on time. Right, I'll just put my mobile phone under the counter in case someone rings. 
Hi, Raymond. Good morrow, fair maid. <laughs> um, can I get a coffee, please? One coffee coming right up. Ooh. Ooh, that's Sorry, my that's phone. my phone. Oh, it's not my phone. No, no, it's my phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mum. Where are you? OK, so you're getting on the train at Molly Moore. Yeah, all right, then, well, I'll, I'll meet you in the Buffy car. All right, bye, Mum. <laughs> Was that your mum? <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess? Yeah, she's meeting me here, and then we're going rock climbing in Helen's Bridge. Oh, that sounds very brave. Well, it's not up a cliff or anything. It's up this climbing wall that they've got at the Special Indoor Activity Centre. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Even so, you wouldn't catch me climbing up it. I get dizzy even walking up the stairs to my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really safe, actually. You're sort of strapped onto these ropes, and there's all these pegs that you can hold on to, so even if you lose your foot in, you can't fall off and hurt yourself. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I could try it one day, then. <laughs> Sorry, there's your coffee. <laughs> there you go, Raymond. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wonder how my little piglet is doing. I love to skip in River Sea Bing, River Sea Bing, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bing, go River Sea Bing, go that's for me. Nay! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Oh, Lisa, can you put the wee horsey in the stable pit? Thank you. Any money? Can I please um, phone my daddy? Of course you can. Now, where did I put daddy's number? Hold on. Uh, right, what's this number? Oh, it's ringing. Come on, daddy, answer the phone. Where are you? Oh, Bobby, aren't you going to answer your phone? No, no, that's not my phone. Oh, oh, it must be mine. <laughs> oh, too late. One missed call. <gasps> it's from Granny Murray. <laughs> I'll just call her back. Well, actually, there's no time just now. Um, Bobby, we're pulling into Molly Moor. Your mum will be getting on now. All oh, right. Thanks, Raymond. Hi, Mum. It's me. Yeah, are you getting on the train? Oh, good. All right, well, remember, I'm in the Buffy car, OK? Oh, what, what, yeah, the yeah. Buffy car. No, you can't miss it. It's right in the middle of the train. The middle of the train. Yeah, yeah, just go oh, straight through all the carriages and you'll find it. Right, I'm, wa I'm walking up a What was that? Where did you see? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hello, Mum. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Come oh, and sit down. More customers. Well, there's no time for chatting. I better get on with some hard work. <laughs> I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. Whew, it's all go today. Hey, oh, Raymond, could we get some fridge take with us? Rock climbing, please. Oh, sure thing. How about a couple of Raymond's rosy apples? Oh, mm. is that, oh, is your, that your phone? phone? <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello, love. It's Tina. <laughs> yes, Lisa's gone to the city farm with Granny Murray. Uh-huh. Oh, she has her coat, yes. <laughs> right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> oh, we're at Helen's Bridge. Oh, right. There's your apples, ladies. That's uh, 40 pence. There you go. Thanks. And enjoy your climb. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Oh, I must have forgot my phone. Um, actually, I think I better switch this off. 
I don't want to get interrupted halfway up the climbing wall. Ooh, <laughs> oink oink, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, they're lovely, and the wee calves. Did you see that cow's long tongue? It was enormous. Imagine if we had tongues that long. <laughs> Who's got the longest tongue? Oh, I think it's Lisa. Can I phone my daddy to tell him to speak to the cows? <laughs> yes, darling, of course. Now. I can give Granny Moria a call now on my mobile phone and see how Lisa's doing. But where is it? Why did I lose it? <laughs> where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Moria's house. I showed her my brilliant new mobile phone. It can play games, take photos, make videos, everything. At nine o'clock, I got to work and the train left on time. Bobby came in for a coffee and we heard a mobile phone ring. I thought it was mine, but it was Bobby's. We both have exactly the same looking mobile phone. Bobby told me she was going rock climbing with her mum. At 10 o'clock, Lisa called me on my mobile phone, but I missed it. I didn't get time to call her back because we arrived at Molly Moore Station. Bobby's mum got on the train and they bumped into each other in the Buffy car while they were both talking on their mobile phones. <laughs> it was really funny. At 12 o'clock, Bobby asked me for some fruit to take rock climbing. As I served her, Tina called me on my mobile. I finished the call and put my phone on the counter because we were arriving at Helen's Bridge. Bobby took her fruit and then she must have taken my mobile phone from the counter thinking it was hers. And then she switched it off because she was going to be busy. And when I wanted to use my phone, I couldn't find it because Bobby had it. What can I do? Now remember, a mobile phone can't do everything. A mobile phone can't do everything. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> a mobile phone can't find itself if it's lost. But I can find my mobile phone because I know where Bobby's gone. To the climbing centre with her mum. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to start it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Raymond, what are you doing here? You've got my phone, Bobby. Have I? Oh, no. I'm sorry, I must have taken it with me by mistake. Not to worry. Thanks. I must get back to my train. Bye. Another missed call from Granny Murray and Lisa. <laughs> I'll just call them back. <laughs> Hope Lisa's enjoying herself. Here's my phone. I get. Hello. Hello, it's me, Raymond. Hello, Raymond. We've been trying to phone you. Yeah, I lost my mobile for a while. Ah. Uh, See, not to worry. Lisa's here. Daddy, darling. Hello, Daddy. Hi, Elise. I'm sorry I missed you. <laughs> How's the city farm? Listen to the pigs. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> bye bye, Dad. Bye, Lisa. I'll see you later. Oh, thanks, darling. Come on, we in. Come on, Lisa. Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. A mobile phone can't do everything. It saved the day. 
Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, <laughs> my darling. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a mobile phone because when Raymond dropped off Lisa, he showed us his new mobile phone. He was very proud of it. It could take photos, tell the time, play music, all sorts of clever things. He gave us his mobile number so Lisa could ring him whenever she wanted to. Then we played with our farmyard set. Lisa tried to phone Raymond, but he didn't answer. He missed the call. Later, we went to the city farm. The animals were fantastic. Lisa tried to call Raymond on his new phone again, but there was no answer. But when we were looking at the oinky pigs, Raymond called us. He explained that he'd lost his phone for a while. That's why he couldn't speak before. I think Raymond's learnt that a mobile phone can't do everything. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. City, where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny. 